Collins Lower Secondary Maths is a three level course designed for students at lower secondary stages seven, eight and nine, comprising a student's book, workbook and teacher's guide for each stage. It fully supports the new Cambridge Lower Secondary Maths curriculum framework, providing full syllabus coverage, comprehensive students resources and a highly supportive teacher's guide. The Cambridge Lower Secondary Maths framework encourages learners to develop a holistic understanding of the subject and a lifelong enthusiasm for analytical and rational thinking. It supports a clear progression of mathematics knowledge and skills from primary through lower secondary and beyond within and across the stages. It aims to produce learners who are skilled in thinking and working mathematically. The accompanying Collins course is carefully designed with all these aims in mind. With our primary maths, IGCSE maths and international A-level maths and further maths courses, our resources support learners all the way through their mathematical journey on the Cambridge pathway. The curriculum framework has been restructured and reorganised to allow clearer progression through the stages. Some of the main changes that you'll notice are consolidation of the six strands in the previous framework to four overarching strands, number, algebra, geometry and measure, and statistics and probability. Learning objectives have been streamlined and made clearer and are now accompanied by examples. The emphasis is also now on expected learning rather than expected output for each objective. There is improved progression both within each stage and between stages, accompanied by a downward shift in some content between lower secondary stages and reaching down into primary maths. Some content, for example loci, has been removed and some new content, for example standard form, has been introduced into lower secondary. Objectives relating to mental calculation strategies have also been removed. The most wide reaching change that you will notice is that the previous emphasis on problem solving in the old framework is now replaced by an emphasis on thinking and working mathematically. This recognises that learners learn better if they engage more thoughtfully in the maths they encounter and that deeper thinking helps to promote understanding and build connections. Cambridge have identified four pairs of characteristics of thinking and working mathematically. Specialising and generalising, conjecturing and convincing, characterising and classifying, critiquing and improving. Each of these eight characteristics apply across stages one to nine and should be developed alongside content learning objectives rather than in isolation. Cambridge want to see thinking and working mathematically embedded into courses across all the strands. Activities and questions may provide an opportunities to develop one or more characteristics. Let's take a look at an example. In this activity, learners compare two methods for solving an equation. In doing so, they can be using the thinking and working mathematically characteristics of specialising creating their own equations of the same type. Characterising. Can the equation be simplified by dividing through a common factor? Critiquing. Debating the advantages and disadvantages of each method. Cambridge will assess thinking working mathematically in their yearly progression tests and at the end of stage nine checkpoint test. Our course makes incorporating thinking and working mathematically into your teaching and students learning seamless, giving you the confidence that this new element is fully supported. Now let's take a look at some of the key features of the Collins Lower Secondary Maths course and how they support these curriculum frameworks aims. Each stage from seven to nine is supported by a student's book for learning and practice, a write-in workbook, for reinforcement and further practice, and a teacher's guide to fully support you through delivery of the course. The student book and teacher's guide are also available in ebook versions, giving you a flexible choice about delivery. All the materials in the teacher's guide are also freely downloadable as editable files, so you can tailor them to your school's preferences. 
This student's book offers a comprehensive coverage of the course designed to give all learners the chance to master the skills and knowledge. It retains the popular elements from the previous edition, but is fully updated for the new curriculum framework with its new emphasis on thinking and working mathematically. Each chapter opens with reminder of relevant previous learning in the starting point section and moves on to an engaging getting started activity. This feature, previously called the hook, is designed to stimulate interest in the topic and can be done in small groups or as a whole class activity. You'll find suggestions of how to adapt it for different settings in the teacher's guide. The chapter topic is broken down into carefully chosen sections, delivering learning at an appropriate pace. Key terms are defined to support correct mathematical language and teaching text is clear and concise. Our worked examples follow the innovative three part solution structure you may be familiar with from our previous edition. The left column models a formal method, the middle column provides a narrative explanation and the right column a pictorial representation. In this way, our materials support different learning styles and give all students the chance to access the knowledge. Each topic contains extensive and varied practice questions as we believe that students learn best by doing. Questions marked with a star offer particularly rich opportunities to practice one or more of the thinking and working mathematically characteristics. Each section will also include one or more thinking and working mathematically activities. These open-ended questions will help students become confident mathematical thinkers and actively engage with each of the characteristics. Full support for each activity is given in the teacher's guide. At the end of each chapter, a new consolidation exercise and end of chapter reflection feature draw together the learning from across the chapter. Answers for each stage are located in the teacher's guide, so you have complete control over students' access. The other student facing component of the course is the write-in workbook. This exactly mirrors the structure of the student's book and can be used in the classroom or as a homework resource to provide consolidation of learning and additional practice. Each section in the workbook corresponds to the student's book and starts with a concise summary of key learning points, ideal for revision and recap. This is followed by sets of questions, giving a further chance to practice the skills and knowledge on each topic. As with the student's book, Questions that particularly lend themselves to one or more of the thinking and working mathematically characteristics are indicated by a star. The workbook also includes think about questions, which develop students' confidence in reflecting and problem solving. As with the student's book, answers are located in the teacher's guide. The final course component is the teacher's guide. Following market feedback from the first edition, this element has been completely redesigned to offer a supportive structure that exactly matches to the student's book and workbook, while retaining the flexibility that makes it adaptable to different settings and timetables. A new chapter overview shows at a glance which objectives are covered in which section and what thinking and working mathematically activities are available, providing an excellent planning tool. Full cross-references to the equivalent student book and workbook sections make navigation easy. The popular bank of lesson starters is still included, but further guidance on where and when to use them and pointers on delivery have been added. Guidance on classroom management and support for the getting started activity is also given. Each section in the student's book has a corresponding section in the teacher's guide. This starts with a summary table of misconceptions, probing questions, support and extension ideas, allowing teachers to easily provide tailored support where needed. Full and detailed support for all the thinking and working mathematically activities in the student's book is given here, including tips on classroom management, ideas for support and extension and guidance on assessment. The teacher's guide also includes additional thinking and working mathematically activities that can be flexibly incorporated into lessons. This integrated approach to thinking and working mathematically means you can have complete confidence that our course fully addresses 
this important new curriculum framework element. Each chapter ends with a clear signposting of assessment opportunities in the scheme, including printed topic review tests, which were previously only available online, with detailed mark schemes. These mark schemes are in the familiar checkpoint test mark format and include guidance for formative assessment. The teacher's guide also includes a wealth of photocopyable resources to accompany activities in the student's book and teacher's guide, making it easy for you to deliver the course. A contents map at the start of the book provides a clear overview of where each learning objective is covered in each component, giving you all the tools you need to plan and adapt to your school's particular circumstances. Thank you for listening and we wish you and your students every success with Cambridge Lower Secondary Maths.